A human rights organization, Health of Mother Earth Foundation, is seeking to strengthen the ocean and maritime policies in Nigeria and find a lasting solution to implementation of such policies. This formed part of deliberations at a media parley held in Lagos. Plus TV correspondent Emmanuel Olubaboku reports on the way forward and how marine habitat can be protected. The oceans have never been treated so carelessly in recent times. Along with increased extra activities in the seas, overfishing and unreported fishing come increasing human rights abuses against the populations who live on the coastlines and others whose economies are connected to the oceans. It is also a known fact that exploration, exploitation and production of fossil fuel activities going on in communities have grave impacts on the land, water and air of communities where these activities take place. Certain policies and implementation are two different facets, yet they are intertwined. Francis Omiono from the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Nimase, noted that some of the policies, just like the Sea Fishing Act, need to be followed up by monitoring, control and surveillance. <laughs> Implementation of environmental policies and laws laid down by legislators have been seen to be poor. Despite the laws, the environment is still seen to be degraded on a daily basis. Addressing the situation, the laws being laid should not be left on the papers alone, but must be fully implemented and followed to the letter. A professor of biomonitoring and restoration ecology gives more insight. No. Environmental policies and laws in, or le legislations in Nigeria is very poor and it has to change if Nigeria will attain environmental sustainability. Because even in the presence of these laws, we see our environment being degraded on a daily basis from every you know, facet of society at the level of individuals, communities, private sector, and even government sometimes violate its own law by not uh, following the EI Act. Advocacies on the ocean cannot be left to the government alone, as the media do have a part to play in disseminating the information to the public by dispersing the right information and setting out agendas that will result in the complete restoration of the ocean body saying that we should begin to protect these areas of the mangroves, we should begin to protect these environments that are not protected by our government. It is our duty to protect them. We cannot wait for the government to do it all. That's why we're here today to say that as the media, we should go out and begin to make policies, begin to put out, we set the agenda. The media sets the agenda for the people. So when we set the agenda, we begin to follow this agenda. It is important for people to make concerted efforts to stand up for the environment, lives and livelihoods. They should also defend their human rights based on knowledge and solidarity. At the end of the day, effective, focused and consistent advocacy creates the change being sought after. Emmanuel Ulububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.